Is this thing on? Hello? Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Chris Wood, as I'm sure you know. Um, I'm here to talk with you about containment, so let's do it. Let's see some questions. What are three words you use to describe containment? Um, three words. Uh, horror. Um, heart. And uh, excitement. Is that a good one? Uh, hi, Italy. Good to see you guys. <laughs> did you first audition for the role of Jake on Containment? Uh, I did, yeah. I read the script, and uh, my favorite character in the story was Jake, and I was taken with his story and sort of how the character was portrayed. So um, I sort of dove in and prepared that role. What else you got? Do you prefer Kai Parker or Jake? Um, wow. I mean, I guess whoever you're playing now is who you're most excited about, right? So I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna say Jake. But no offense to Kai. And I should say that because he might actually, you know, try to kill me if I say too much about him. What else? I love you so much too. Love you guys in the UK. Do you miss the Vampire Diaries? Of course I miss the Vampire Diaries. Vampire Diaries is a blast. Um, it's a great show to sort of go play in that, that fantasy world and, um, it's, it's very exciting. Are there any similarities between your characters in The Vampire Diaries and Containment? Oh, heavens. Um, not really, no. Uh, one is purely evil and one is purely good, I guess. So they're, they're sort of as opposite as you, as you can get. How many episodes can we look forward to? There will be 13 episodes of The Containment uh, Season 1, um, which airs... You can sort of see it behind me, April 19th, so check it out then. Hey, you're awesome too, Raquel. Thanks for that. Um, do you have any common points with Jake, your character? Um, hmm. I am a man, much like Jake. Um, I am not a cop, so I don't have that in common. Uh, I'm not stuck in an outbreak situation, so we differ in that way. And um, I think we both love dogs, so we have that in common. That's, that's probably the most similar thing about us. If you could be anyone else rather than Jake on Containment, who would you be? Oh, uh, gosh. I would, I would be David Jesse, who plays Lex. And I wouldn't be Lex, I'd be David Jesse, because he's legendary. Um, what would you do if you could meet Kai in real life? I would run. And if you were smart, you would do the same. Not someone you want to run into. Come to Paris for the Vampire Diaries Con. You said you'd be back, dude. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Will containment only last one season? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, I don't think I'm the person to direct that towards because I'm not in charge of that. And we're hopeful that you'll see more of us. But I guess maybe we should watch and see how the first season goes. And then uh, we'll go from there. What do you think is most interesting on the show? Uh, what is most interesting? I would say the relationships on the show is the most interesting. Because you have all these different people reacting to this outbreak. And it's hard to sort of predict how anyone res would respond in a situation like that. And the story really allowed, allows these characters, um, their weaknesses to come out and also their strengths. And, you get to sort of see how someone begins this journey and after you know 20 days stuck in an outbreak situation, how they come out differently. And uh, there's some beauty in there too. It's, it's pretty horrific most of the time, but uh, these people have good hearts. So that's, that's probably my favorite part. How's your Polish? Mamnina Krzysztofut, and that's as far as it goes. That's, um, who were you closest to on the show? Our whole cast is very close. Um, we, I mean, even back in LA, we still gather for, for dinners and, and we have little dinner parties and we go out and, and, and have drinks together and, and catch up. Because um, you become like a family when you're shooting, especially when you shoot on location in, a, in, in Atlanta for, for six months. It's sort of all day, every day, just you guys all working on this project. Um, and our cast is really, really unique in that we, um, you know, outside of, work days we'd, we'd all hang out we'd go to the park on, on weekends and 
spend our time together and uh, and we also would meet beforehand to prep our scenes and rehearse um, which sort of got us more into the work and got us more on the same wavelength together so um, yeah I love my whole family on the show. Hi Germany. Do you plan to direct some episodes? Well, that seems to be the thing doesn't it lately? Um, the, the, the men on the CW tend to become directors uh, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, not anytime soon. Um, I think I'm going to try to focus on getting my acting right before I try to tell other people what to do. Are you friends with Ian Summerhalder? No way, Jose. That guy is a monster. I love Ian. He's great. Yeah, of course we're friends. Um, what was the highlight of the show for you? Paul Wesley, number one. What does that even mean? Paul Wesley is number one. He's my number one man. <laughs> Uh, what's the question, what's the character you prefer to play? Um, of all the characters I've ever played, probably the next one. The one we don't know yet. We have some good ones here. If you like good food, come to Italy. Absolutely true. I would tend to agree. Do you like The Walking Dead? I do like The Walking Dead. I can't say I've watched it consistently enough to know the whole story, but, uh, but I do. I do enjoy it. Do you prefer playing a villain or a good guy? That's a hard question because both are so fun in different ways. Villains, villains are great because you you get to to be just horrible and enjoy it, um, and get to do terribly inappropriate things and and mean things. And especially in the Vampire Diaries, people love you when you are. The worse you are, the more they love you, it seems. It's kind of backwards. Um, but being a good guy's got its charms, too. You know, you get to save people, and um, people who like you like you because you're doing good things. Uh, and if people hate you, um, it's okay, because you're a good guy. So, no skin off your back. What's your favorite place in the world? Um, I might have to say... Uh, I might have to say Mexico, Tulum, because it's a magical paradise with aqua-colored water and really nice sand, and uh, it's pretty fancy. Hi, Romania. How are you guys? Brazil. I've not been to Brazil. I should go to Brazil sometime. Oh, don't cry. Amy, why are you crying? I love you too, Amy. Don't cry. That's not... <laughs> Say something Dutch. I don't know any Dutch. I won't be able to help you there. Uh, I could pretend to speak Dutch. Any insight about what is going to happen in containment? Um, lots of people will get sick, and um, hopefully your favorites uh, are able to stay healthy. But um, what else? Containment will... Uh, will probably scare you sometimes. How's Drift? How old is Drift? Drift is six months old now. That's my dog. He's uh, he's a boxer Weimaraner mix and he's uh, he's a rescue and he's got quite a personality. No, he says hi to everybody. What do you think aspiring act, what, why do you think aspiring actors give up on their dreams? That's a good question. Um, probably because it's hard. And because uh, you get no much more often than you get yes. And so that's easy to feel like you're failing. But I, I like to think of it more like um, I'm a big baseball fan. I like to think of it more like baseball where uh, you can fail, you know, 60% of the time and still be the best that's ever been. Um, like a, a winning baseball team still only wins every other game. So uh, acting's similar to that because you, you're going to fail more often than you're going to succeed. Um, and even once you get the job, sometimes you you go and you feel like you've somehow screwed up. Um, so there's a lot of negativity floating around. So uh, to anyone who is aspiring, I would just say, you know, try to ignore that and think of it as noise and just stay focused and keep working. Do you like Game of Thrones? I see you put a winky face because you know that I'm obsessed with Game of Thrones. <laughs> what do you want for your birthday? For my birthday, I want... Um, the new CW series containment to air the following Tuesday and uh, fortunately my birthday is this week so I'm actually gonna get that 
my birthday as long as nothing goes wrong. Have you ever visited Hong Kong? I've not, no. I'm sorry that I don't have much more to say about that, but I have not been to Hong Kong. On a scale of one to Paul Wesley is hot, how much are you excited for a containment premiere? If one's the lowest, then I'm going to go with Paul Wesley is hot for my level of excitement for containment. What's your next project? Um, my next project is probably getting the leaves out of my gutters at home. If you had to... <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, that, that question was inappropriate, so we're going to skip that one. <laughs> um, do you see this? I do. I do see this. Let me scroll back up here. Hi, Turkey. What is something you've learned from containment that you can apply to your personal life? Um, good question. Uh, I've learned that if someone is sneezing near me, um, that they're probably going to infect me, so I should go four to six feet away. And I knew that before, but I think containment sort of uh, <laughs> brought that awareness up in my life. Do you think Ian is hotter than Paul? Hmm. Um, I, I, I don't think I'm allowed to comment on that. <laughs> Italy loves you. I love Italy. I do love Italy. Italy's great. Have you ever been to Serbia? I've not been to Serbia. Um, I think that's probably a place that I should visit. Um, so give me a buzz and we'll set something up. If you were in Game of Thrones, what character would you like to play? Oh my gosh. I would think, I think I'd probably like to be Robb Stark or, or Daenerys. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but I look fantastic with flowing blonde hair. Um, and I have dra actually have dragons, so it would be a really easy role for me to sort of embody. Let's see what else we have here. What was it like playing the bad guy? Playing the bad guy is the best. You get to create havoc and get people angry at you for horrible things. It's, it's fantastic. Do you like shooting in Atlanta? I love shooting in Atlanta. Um, what I don't love about shooting in Atlanta is when I'm in the full SWAT police gear in August and it's 99 degrees and humid. Um, there was one day where I almost passed out. That was, that was fun. But you know what? It adds to the reality because it was supposed to be hot that day in the show. You'll see that episode. Everyone's complaining about how hot it is. It was actually very, very warm. What's next to you? Which Disney princess would you be? <laughs> obviously, obviously I would be Jasmine because I too, um, I too fly on magic carpets. What's it like being in the Vampire Diaries? Considering the old school, I like that, the old school. That was my old school. Um, being in the Vampire Diaries is great. You, uh, you get to play with witches and, and vampires and, uh, and a lot of times you get to like I did, you get to kill off a lot of very popular characters and get some very angry messages in response. Any chance we'll see you at a French convention? Je ne sais quoi? Who's your favorite female actress? Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep, because she's the bomb.com. Why are you looking hot? It's a little warm here in Los Angeles today. Um, and I'm uh, perspiring a little bit. I have to apologize for that. If Containment would do a crossover with another show, what would it be? I'd like to see, um, I'd like to see Jane the Virgin survive in an outbreak situation because I think she's got a lot of people on her side because she's been through a lot. But I just, I want to see what happens when she's really tested with a newborn baby and a virus. I think it's an exciting crossover. That is waiting to happen. If you could have lunch with any three people, living or dead throughout history, who would they be? Uh, Frank Sinatra, because I feel like he's probably really fun at dinners. Um, I like to chill with Obama, just you know, because he's he's cool. Maybe we play some basketball. Um, and uh, let's go with um, the Dalai Lama. 
because I read this thing recently about how he, he feels that mosquitoes are ungrateful. And I'd like to ask him about that, because he said they eat his blood and then they fly away and they don't thank him. Um, so I'd like to find out more about that. Is there anything you can't do? Yes, there is a lot that I cannot do. Um, as my family will tell you. Um, and we've got just, a, just time for a couple more questions, so let's get some good ones. What's the hardest role you've ever had to play and why? Um, the hardest role is probably, um, probably this one, probably, because, um, because you're, you know, life or death circumstances all day, every day, that's kind of hard. But it's also the most fun, so um, not the kind of thing to complain about. What else? How was it? What was it like working with Claudia? It was uh, it was great working with Claudia, except um, I don't know how much I can I can tell you about how much I work with Claudia in the show, but she is outside the quarantine zone and I'm inside. So um, based on that, our uh, exposure to each other as actors is probably pretty minimal. But you have to. Stay tuned. The biggest fear of mine, um, ooh, I, I'm very, I'm very scared of um, my dog trying to jump off my deck railing because it's a very real possibility. He gets very excited, and he can clear fences now. It's kind of, it looks like magic. Um, he learned from my dragons, obviously. Please, can you sing something? Absolutely not. Um, that's a very good question, but I, <laughs> I can't. Um, are you going to be acting in other movies? I don't know. Um, I would like to. That's a thing I'd like to do. But uh, that's not something that is, um, is planned at the moment. Supernatural or Hunger Games? Hunger Games. But I don't like to play Hunger Games because when I get hungry, I get hangry. And so I like to be fed at all times. All right, last couple questions here. Which superhero would you choose to be? Batman. That Batman all the way. Maybe not. Have you guys seen Sad Affleck? Because if you had not seen Sad Affleck yet, you need to go to YouTube right now and watch Sad Affleck because it's the best thing that's ever been. And I feel for him because he was probably just tired and zoned out. But it's it's good editing. That those people deserve an Emmy for that. Um, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? That is a great question to go off with, um, and yes, I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, enjoy Containment, which premieres April 19th at 9 on The CW. Thanks a lot, guys. How do I do this?